Hi, I'm Alan Gibbs from Enduro Frame Building Systems. And we'll show you how easy it is to assemble our building system on your construction site. This video offers general installation advice. Refer to the Enduro Wall and Enduro Trust Design Manuals, Construction Guides and the BCA for full details. Enduro Frame structures are detailed and designed using our latest CAD technology using Australian made True Core Steel. The result is a building system that has been designed for the builder. You can use the Enduro Frame system with confidence because it's fully engineered and tested by Bluescope Steel. The Enduro Frame building system can be supplied either as a fully assembled frame or a knockdown kit of components for your site assembly. The lightweight Enduro Frame building system is made up of the Enduro Truss roof system and the Enduro Wall wall framing system. And it's easy for you and your crew to assemble on virtually any building site. You'll see that each part is marked with the job name, frame or truss number, part number and part usage, making it simple for you to work out which part goes where. All you need to do is match the parts provided with the drawing, align the pre-punched holes and screw it together. It's that easy. Our first consideration is worker safety. The HIA recommends a safe work method statement be written and that the work site conforms to the safe work practices in the BCA. And make sure you read our installation manuals before you start work. Your building plans are input into the Enduro CAD software where the complete structural frame is detailed and prepared for production. The Enduro CAD system outputs assembly drawings for all wall frames and roof trusses, layout drawings to locate the assemblies on site and documentation for authority approvals. OK, now let's look at a wall frame assembly. Here's the tools you'll need. Screw gun with hex head bits, handheld grinder, cordless drivers, circular saw with metal cutting blades, tin snips, spirit level, marker pens, string lines, clamps or vice grips, measuring tape, a hammer and finally a hacksaw. Each wall panel will arrive separately bundled with the components clearly labelled. For on-site assembly, the assembly order should match the erection sequence. Refer to the Enduro CAD layout drawing supply. Identify the plates, studs, heads, sills, unders and overs from the branding information on the parts. Lay out the top plate, bottom plate, noggin and studs in the correct orientation. Pass studs through the Enduro wall continuous channel nogging and engage the studs into the bottom plate by aligning the dimple positions. The dimple holes and notches enable easy component layout and assembly. Fix through the top face with a framing fastener. Engage the overs into the heads and top plate fixing the top face with framing fasteners. Slip the top plate over the studs and align the holes. At this point, fasten all aligned holes. Flip the frame and install framing fasteners into each aligned hole. For factory assembly, Jigs and lifting equipment may be used to aid the assembly. Square the frame using a jig or by measuring diagonals and install bracing. Strap bracing should be left untensioned as this is completed after frame construction. OK, let's look at a truss assembly. Trusses utilise the Enduro frame system of matching punched holes for assembly. As you can see, no jigging is required, which means that either on-site or factory assembly is possible. Again, components are branded with the job number, truss and part number. Webs are numbered from left to right and cords counterclockwise around the truss from the bottom cord. The assembly of each truss is simple. Let's look at a basic A truss. Referring to the assembly drawing and the detailed connection drawing supplied, lay the cords in their approximate location, toes down. Engage the top cord into the bottom cord notch and align the appropriate holes. Align the holes at the end of the top cords and fix with a truss framing screw. Place the short apex stiffener supplied across the apex as shown on the connection drawing. Align the stiffener end holes with those on the truss top cords and fix with truss framing screws. Now, locate each web, either toes down if a flush configuration or toes up if non-flush. Align the holes with those punched on the cords and fix with truss framing screws. Note, 
The webs should force the cords into the correct geometry without jigging. The truss will only go together one way. Check the overall height and span is correct. The overall height and span should now match the quality check dimensions on the assembly drawing. After this quality check, any boxing or reinforcing must be completed. First, using the components supplied, box any webs or cords as shown on the assembly drawing. Screw the boxing to the webs with two screws at each end and the centre. For cord boxing, use two screws at 600mm centres along the member. Place reinforcing screws to the cord to cord connections as shown in the connection drawings. Web reinforcing screws are nominated on the web branding. The last number in the brand string is the number of screws at each end of the web, including the truss framing screw. Some connections may require stiffening plates or angles. These should be fitted in accordance with the connection drawing supply. Additional screws may be required on large span trusses for lifting. Other truss types are assembled in a similar fashion. Stack the trusses in the order they will be required for installation. We hope this video has shown you how easy it is to assemble the Enduro Frame Building System, the smart, simple solution to house framing.